Today we're Spirits and Gear, we check out Reference 4 from Sonarworks. I have recently had some friends and I've been seeing online postings about some room correction software called Reference 4 from Sonarworks. Now, room correction isn't a new concept. Uh, many years ago, uh, the concept kind of arose that using uh, digital technology and a microphone like this reference microphone that we'll get to in a minute, you can essentially listen to your room, your mix and listening environment and make corrections to, you know, nulls, and hyped spots EQ wise and things like that. So essentially you could correct for bad spots and trouble areas in your room. The company who has been at the forefront of all of this technology has been Sonarworks and Reference 4 came out in mid to late 2017. And I thought for the longest time incorrectly that it was only for headphones. Uh, it's actually for headphones and what they they have a new mode called system wide and system wide is basically a plug-in version or you can put it on your master out um, of your audio interface and affect it for like when you're listening to spotify and all that kind of stuff but the essential idea is the same it has just been more refined and has gotten much 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 better now before we go any further I would like to say thank you to Sonoworks who graciously uh, provided me with, with uh, Reference 4 and the uh, amazing Reference microphone. I contacted them and I basically was like, hey, can, can I check that out? I've seen a lot of posts and it looks pretty cool. So thank you to everyone at Sonoworks for being cool. So we're gonna go to the DAW and I have it on as my last plugin on my two bus. Now I am in Persona Studio One 4 and this is my curve. This is my room. This is how my room sounds. So notice my top end is actually pretty decent and it is. My, my high end in this room sounds really good. My mid range is kind of shot um, below 1K and then between 80 and, or actually really 70 and 110 hertz, I have a huge null, which I already knew about, which is why I have a subwoofer because I didn't need a subwoofer until I moved into this studio. And it's been a l very troublesome for me. Um, what I wasn't really aware of is the low mids. Now look at all these low mids. It's just a huge buildup it's a huge problem. So I'm going to play you this track. This is from the Fishman pickup comparison track. I'm going to play you this track and I'm going to cycle the Sonoworks reference for uh, on and off just to give you a little idea of what this is really doing. All right. So here we go. Okay, that may not seem like much, that's actually quite significant. And the difference for my mixes has been substantial. I will admit I didn't really wanna like this kind of software. I was worried about phase problems and all that stuff. It's actually been quite amazing. Um, you can go to an, uh, the advanced tab and you can select your filter type. If you mouse over the information, you can either go for zero latency, optimum processing, or a linear phase filter type, which is a phase correct, no phase anomalies, but is also very CPU intensive, or high latency, excuse me. Um, but it introduces no phase shift, as it states. Um, there are huge differences between these three, so you just really gotta play around with it. Also notice I have my dry and wet mix at 85%, not 100%. 100% felt too clean, I guess is the best word I can use. 
but really you just have to play around with it for yourself. Now, I also love the fact that I can simulate different listening speakers. I can go to NS10s, I can go to a hi-fi speaker stuff, I can load different profiles into reference for a various headphones, uh, speakers, and just the list goes on and on and on. Lots and lots of Sennheiser, as you can see. So like I have Sennheiser HD 650s. I can now load an EQ curve to make sure that I am hearing my mix reference on my headphones accurately. I mean, that's really, really amazing. I'm gonna cancel out of this. Here's my EQ curve. Now here is what, here's the amount of correction I am running in the green. It's basically trying to counteract and add the frequencies that are missing and take down the frequencies that are hyped. Now, afterwards, it's not perfect. It's not completely flat, nor would I expect it to be. So I'm gonna take away the target and the correction. And here's what I am left with, with my final EQ curve that is coming out of my speakers and what I am listening in. This is my curve. This is what I am mixing to. That's pretty good. That is damn good. And it's just, it's been huge. It's honestly been mind blowing for me coming from the old school stuff to this has been really, really incredible. And I just wanted to tell you guys about it. And um, I was really, really impressed right off the bat uh, with the microphone. The microphone is not just some run of the mill um, random microphone they threw in a box. They actually test the EQ curve of every individual microphone. And before you start to measure, you enter its serial number. It then pulls from uh, their database or wherever. And I also accounts for the sound of this actual microphone. So this is not coloring your results. I thought that was really, really, really cool. And for $2.99, I mean, geez. If you are a bedroom mixer or you primarily mix on headphones, this is absolutely an amazing solution and fairly inexpensive solution to get your mixes to the next level. I thought I would just uh, let you guys know about this because this has been a wonderful piece of software for me. I totally back it. And uh, again, thank you to uh, Sonoworks for letting me check this out. Uh, it has been very, very awesome indeed. I'll pick up the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.